What is going on, guys? It's Mitch here, aka Royal Bacchus, and today we got Better Call Saul Season 3 finale. Um, last episode, we left off on a crazy ending with Kim. We'll get into everything that we usually do before we get there. If you want to drop a like and subscribe down below, we greatly appreciate it. Bringing you Better Call Saul every Monday and every Thursday. But the upcoming, so I this episode is going to come out on the Monday. I'm just giving you guys a heads up now. Um, I'm going to be going on a trip to Vegas for a week, and there will be no content coming out in that duration that I'm gone. I don't have a laptop to bring with me, so there will be no content, no Better Call Saul until another week after that. I'm sorry to let you guys know, um, but I promise I will be back, um, get refreshed, and have a nice little vacation. But just wanted to give you guys a heads up so you didn't think I was dead. Um, I also got Patreon and Instagram and Twitter, uh, Twitter in the links. If you want to join my uh, Patreon, you guys get the unedited versions of my video, and you also get the content a couple days earlier than you would on YouTube. So let's go over everything that happened last episode we'll start with the biggest thing which was the car crash with kim at the end of the episode i did they did such an excellent job by the way at this i thought it was so well done because the way that i edit it unless you're unless you're on my patreon the way that i put the youtube edit is that i kind of skipped ahead for when she's talking on the like she was kind of repeating herself like trying to get ready for this uh, meeting that she was going to and it seemed like she just kept like saying the same thing over and over again and it was kind of concerning because it almost felt like she was like slowly breaking down in the car and then what you guys saw was the moment where like it just goes silent and when it went silent that's never good and the way that they did i like i thought they might have done something like she veers off the road or i start to shut no they did a hard cut right to her waking up after getting in a car crash which makes me assume that she fell asleep at the wheel that's what that's what i'm going with that's what i thought after the episode um but big thing happened there uh, i don't know how jimmy is gonna feel when he hears about this i have a funny feeling he's gonna freak out this is this shows how much work and how much pressure uh, pressure she put on herself when it came to all these uh, jobs that she was trying to do. Mesa Verde was supposed to be the only one technically that she was supposed to be doing. And yet at the end of everything she took, I can't remember what this new client was. I can't remember the name, sorry. Um, but taking this on more, like even Jimmy said, like I thought it was only Mesa Verde. And to me, as soon as he said that, I'm like, she is really overworking herself i think she's stressed with everything else that's going on around her as well so it makes sense that all this stuff happened um other stuff that we kind of went through um was with jimmy and irene oh that was hard to watch um i didn't like that at all um you guys obviously knew last episode um the way jimmy can feel so much for somebody but then not feel anything at all if it means that he has to come out, if he wants to come out on top. And poor Irene, it just broke my heart, especially when her friends turned on her in the old age home and stuff like that. I hated that so friggin' much. And to me, that was, for me, I've always been able to say like, oh, like get past Jimmy's flaws and stuff. This one was hard. That was hard to watch. I didn't enjoy that very much. Um, but I'm just going to try and not think about it. And it seems like he's going to be getting his money. He had the tequila at the end and everything before Kim left. And it's just like, I guess everything went well. But you know, Jimmy, it never ends well, even if it is seemingly doing so. So that's one extra uh, avenue. And then on top of everything else that's happening, um, we also have um, Chuck suing uh, HHM, which I am very surprised about. Actually, you know what? I'm not surprised. Dude, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I am not surprised that Chuck pulled this. Um, they basically wanted to push him out. They were having a hard trouble uh, dealing with the company with Chuck being in it, which is understandable. But I also see where Chuck is coming from, where he's like, I built this company. I built this company. You guys think you're going to push me out and it's not going to happen. And really, in essence, when you started, like, when he was getting better or trying to get better, he was talking to the therapist and everything about his mental health, you start to realize how much his whole life revolves around his job, literally. And if you were to take that away from him, what more does he have to live for? So I understand where he is coming from. This is everything to him and they're trying to push him out and he is refusing to do so, which you can understand why. And you can also understand though, why Howard is trying to push him out because right now the company is underwater and it, seem, it seems to not be able to get above water. So right now, Howard is the only thing he's thinking of is like the only option 
is to get rid of Chuck, which I get it as well. So that that battle will be really, really interesting because it seems like Howard is on his last leg as well. So I've said too much though. We are already five minute in uh, five minutes into this little recap. So I'm gonna stop talking and let's get into the season finale, guys. Oh, we're going right into it. Okay. And the worst thing was too is another thing I thought of is all the paperwork. That was flying everywhere last episode. It's like everything that she was working on. Jesus Christ. I know. I'm really interested in to see where she goes with everything. Like how she's going to explain like how she was feeling and everything like that. Fuck me. This is what I mean with Jimmy. It drives me nuts. It's like... You can screw over Irene with no issue whatsoever. But then you do something so nice. Oh my. <laughs> Dude, you're going to be there for a while. I know we all want a swift resolution here. So what are our options? Take it to trial. Expensive. I don't want to be the agent of its destruction. But there is a third option. There is no reason we can't put all this unpleasantness behind us. He's doing well with all the lights and on and everything. On as in what world is that anything but the deepest betrayal of our friendship? Howard, I could argue that you're the I was going to say it could go me. both That's ways bullshit. really when you think about it. And you know it. Just take this. 3 million dollars. You're paying me out of your own pocket. Oh my god, Howard. You won. <clears throat> say your goodbyes. I'm sorry to say, but our fearless leader, Charles McGill, will be leaving HHM, effective immediately. I want to take this moment to thank Chuck. And he's doing this right, so then. well. Let's give him a hand. <laughs> oh, Howard, you bastard. <laughs> this is crazy. And another friendship of Chuck's has ended. Oh boy. Let the shit show. Oh no, he's at his dad's place. Why do I feel like Hector's gonna be an asshole? Here's Bobby. Yep. I hate uncomfortable moments like this. Take the money. Por favor. Oh! Why are you Papa, por favor. Please take the money. Oh, thank God. I'll talk to him. He'll come around. I don't trust him. Oh, what does that mean? Come on, Chuck. I just want to see your face. Come on, Chuck. Just need a minute. I just need to know you're all right. Chuck says it so well when he speaks about like how he has a great heart, but he does stupid things. As you can see, I'm more than all right. This is like a freaking dream. The way he's speaking is so weird. How did you do it? What was it you wanted? Beyond proof of life. Okay, Chuck, you dickhead. Oh, so I wanted to say in hindsight, I could have made different choices. Is that so? Yeah. Why? Because you're his brother? Because <laughs> you're my brother. I don't need to be a scientist to know that's coming. You're just going to keep hurting people. That's not true. Jimmy, this is what you do. All right, you Chuck, you people over Fuck, now I'm pissed off and you can't help it hit him. So stop apologizing and accept it. Embrace Actually, don't it. hit him. Don't Frankly, hit him. Frankly, <laughs> I have more respect for now him. Now I'm getting nervous he's going to do it. I don't want to hurt your feelings. Yeah, a little too late, no? But the truth is, you've never mattered all that much to me.
Ooh. Screw punch him. Should just shot him right there. Oh my god. After all these episodes, all of these episodes of Chuck slowly winning me over, he has just done something that pisses me off more than anything that... Oh, that is... What is he doing? Oh, he's turning everything off again. I don't know what, like why that shot of his face, it, it looks like he's like mushed. Is this, I'm trying to figure out if this is from what he did to, like said to Jimmy, or is this because of being kicked out of work or all together? God, he's going hard for this. He's gonna go nuts. Or he's gonna pass out. Oh my God, is he gonna pass out again? Don't start punching holes in the wall, man. Oh my god. I guess he thinks he can feel it. That's why he just keeps poking holes through all the walls. And he's sweating and everything. Oh, he is losing it. Oh, my God. It's a handgun, too. You're not going to shoot him from that far away. message oh, yeah. yes pretend like he knows what the hell's going on oh okay what does Gus want Don Eladio wanted me to speak with you face to face so there's no misunderstanding oh no from now on there will be only one route over the border for our product. You have to work together. It's what the boss wants. The boss can suck me. Okay. I'd watch what I say if I were you. Who you think you are? We all did together. No, no! Salamanca did! Oh, no. Salamanca mon! It is! It is personal! Oh! <gasps> <gasps> Oh no! Your pills ain't gonna do anything! And he just threw all the pills on the ground. No te mueros, cabrón. Outside a garage at the corner of that street. He has to get all the pills. My boss collapsed. I think he's having a heart attack. Come on. Still alive though, obviously. Yeah. Oh my god, it actually worked. Oh no. Was he gonna kill Miss Landry? What? <laughs> Jimmy, what is Testing. going on? Testing. Good morning. <clears throat> Very good. Cat. And then cow. What in the hell is happening right now? Oh my god. And oh cat. no. Mr. McGill? Now, Mr. McGill. Oh, I hate her. I hate her almost as much as I hate Chuck. At least Chuck like got me to like like him a little bit at certain points in this show. She, on the other hand, is a nightmare. You took advantage of poor Mrs. Landry. Yeah. Did you know how much money <gasps> you had for No! 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 Oh, 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 no!
and China no! disappoints them the most. Damn right they trust me. You ruined her life because you wanted your money faster. Boo and Oh, who? no, no, Besides, no! Like she's got that much time left anyway. <gasps> oh, my God! I don't see a lot of forward folding. Jimmy? Oh, my God. Kick him in the nuts, Irene. You you so deserve it. Come on, girls. Holy shit. Shame on you. Oh. That was the worst possible thing that could have happened. Oh. Okay, I'll meet you guys there in about an hour. We'll unload it. Sounds good. Oh, they're shutting it down. Well, all those people that loved him, I'm guessing it ain't gonna happen any longer. Listen, I, um, I'm real sorry that this didn't work out. It's fine. Oh, don't tell Kim what you did. Please don't tell him what you did. She understands. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Hey, yep. why'd you do that? Because no seniors come within 20 feet of me ever again. I cannot believe this happened after all the things Jimmy did. It's a good law. <sighs> I think it's awesome that they work together. I don't know if it's just me, but I think it's just awesome. Let's go home. What the hell is happening? <clears throat> is he kicking something? Oh my god, his house is completely destroyed. What are you doing? Um... <gasps> oh my god! Are you... What?! What the hell was that? Like, was that his end? Like, oh my god, that was an amazing season finale. That was incredible. We have Hector finally completing his journey into getting into his wheelchair, sadly. Um, we have Jimmy destroying his future with old people. And then you have Chuck, who is now burning his down his house. Literally. To be fair, though, his house is already pretty much all, all the way there, so it's like... Are you really going that far? Like, is, is it that much more damage? Eh. But still, he's lighting his house on fire. And I don't care about that part. I care about, is he going to get up? <laughs> That's the part where it's just like, he's sitting there. And it doesn't look like he has the motivation to get up, even if his house was on fire. So, holy shit. What an episode. That was excellent. I, I can't remember watching his... Um, a season finale like that and to get like that excited and ready for the next season to come that was absolutely crazy um kim is su uh, successfully just laid into uh relaxing and just taking it easy because of the start of the episode i was waiting for her just the next day jump into her job again because that's just the type of person she is which is also a good thing and a bad thing so it's like i understand it but to be fair i don't think that's the proper way to go just start popping pills drinking wine and you'll be good Oh, that was a lot. All right, guys, before I leave, if you want to drop a like and subscribe down below, we greatly appreciate it. Bringing you all every Monday and Thursday. Remember, guys, for next Thursday and Monday, so Monday, when this comes out, we're good. Thursday, Monday after, no content. Just giving you guys a heads up now. Uh, I also got Instagram, Patreon, and Twitter in the links. And until next time, guys, see you later.